Chapter 1094, Counterattack. Rumble rumble rumble. The purple mountain was smashed apart and countless pieces of shattered stone flew through the skies, scattering in all directions. A powerful shock wave rolled outwards, causing endless waves of red sand to shoot up into the sky, as though the apocalypse were unfolding. The disciples of Carefree Island never thought the occult bone clan in Splendor Soul Mountain were lying in ambush just six seven miles away, and they attacked as soon as the sandstorm stopped. They looked at the terrifying attack that was launched at the Purple Mountain. If they were still there, the consequences would have been unbelievable. Even if they instantly reacted and summoned their protective true essence, there would inevitably be calamitous casualties. None of the revolving core realm disciples would have been able to live and most of the direct disciples would have died. The ones remaining would have been seriously wounded. In this situation they would have to face an enemy that was several times their own size. They would be nothing but fish in a barrel completely suppressed, Yi Rosewater glanced at Lin Ming, shocked speechless. In this sand storm, a martial artist's senses should have been limited to five miles at most, but Lin Ming was actually able to sense that the enemy was lying in ambush six or seven miles away, and even do so in an extremely accurate manner without the slightest mistake. What was even stranger was that he had accurately guessed their plans. The occult bone clan and Splendor Soul Mountain were both waiting for the moment the sand storm ended to attack. However, Lin Ming was also waiting for this moment. Attack. Give it everything you have. Lin Ming coldly shouted out. In that moment, the many disciples of Carefree Island no longer hesitated. All of them overdrew their strength and combined their combat skills with an array formation to attack. Although they were far from being able to compare with their enemy, they had the initiative and also the mysterious Lin Ming on their side. Their confidence soared upwards, their momentum rising like a volcano. In that moment, countless sword lights shot out. The disciples of Carefree Island studied the wood laws, so these sword lights were like a deluge of green beams that twisted through the air, lighting up the horizon. As the disciples of Carefree Island attacked, Lin Ming's aura also erupted. He opened the heretical god force to the limit, and at the same time a blazing gold light began to shine from between his eyebrows. He was burning all of the ancient phoenix blood within his body. As he combusted the blood of the ancient phoenix, Lin Ming felt as if his bones were heating up like tempered metal. His blood and even his marrow began to boil over, and his joints issued endless crackling sounds that extended into a single loud explosive burst, as though a dragon was roaring into the vast skies. The blood of the azure dragon was resonating with the blood of the ancient phoenix. Dragon and phoenix, rejoicing together. In that moment, a massive amount of orange and energy gathered towards Lin Ming as if a glorious blue lotus were slowly blooming around him. This was an attack that combined three concepts of fire, burning heat, annihilation, and creation the blue lotus flame dance. This was Lin Ming's self-created attack which he had comprehended during the smelting trial at Fire Spirit Star. It was a fusion of the first three level concepts of the fire laws. Lin Ming had first used this move when he rushed to complete illusionary god combat to raise thousand slaughter and fought Crimson Strife Cloud. Now was the second time. In Lin Ming's weak state, even Crimson Strife Cloud had difficulty directly contending with the blue lotus flame dance. A spear thrust forward and a flaming light lit up the entire sky. A heaven-shaking dragon roar echoed through the world. As the phoenix blood spear flashed through the air, the massive blue lotus fandom fully bloomed. At this time, Yi Rosewater was completely dumbfounded as she saw Lin Ming's attack. Just what sort of attack was this? The striking power was far too freakish. Just the sole power of this attack was far stronger than the combined attack of all the other disciples together. Dot. Ha ha. Our attack was too brutal. Everyone inside should be dead. A splinter soul mountain disciple recklessly left as he saw the purple mountain collapse. What a pity. Those women were extremely good vessels to help perceive the life laws. If, the Divine Sea Occult Bone Clan martial artist's words were caught in his throat. He suddenly twisted around to see terrifying beams of divine light tearing across the earth, shredding apart the wilderness as they hurtled towards them with an unstoppable momentum. Wherever this light went, endless red sand would turn into dust, forming a massive fissure. What? Enemy attack. The disciples of the Occult Bone Clan in Splinter Soul Mountain all paled. They never thought they would be the ones suffering a sneak attack at this time, and one so horrifying at that. Hurry and defend. The late Divine Sea Occult Bone Clan captain shouted out. But as he quickly issued the command, all the other disciples were left panic-stricken. They wanted to defend, but they discovered they had exhausted all of their accumulated true essence in their own attack just now. They didn't have enough time to gather more strength. The point right after a martial artist attacked was when they were at their weakest. Even though this time was short, it could bring a fatal disaster. When masters fought, they would always reserve 30% of their strength in their attacks. Only at the end would they go out in desperate attack. But at this time, even if they weren't able to kill their enemy, they could still cause enough trouble for them that they had enough time to gather their strength again. If they completely used all of their strength to hit nothing and then had to face the enemy's own all-out attack without having their guard raised, the result of this could be imagined. Bang! Unstoppable beams of light fell down like a rain of meteors. Terrifying explosions swallowed up everything. In this moment it was as though the entire divergent mystic realm had been lit up. The disciples of the occult bone clan in Splinter Soul Mountain all howled out in pain and misery. Many early Divine Sea disciples were blown to pieces, and many middle Divine Sea martial artists were grievously wounded. It had to be known that this barrage of attacks contained the strength of two great masters in Lin Ming and Yi Rosewater. This is. The disciples of Carefree Island were surprised to see their attack have such a wondrous effect. They only had a dozen plus people, but they caused the nearly forty-some disciples of the occult bone clan in Splendor Soul Mountain to suffer serious losses. Attack together. Kill them all. Lin Ming frostily commanded. At the same time, he opened the Gate of Wonder and activated the Mystic Lightning Shade, shooting to the front. 
A six or seven mile distance was far too short a distance to Lin Ming. Yi Ro's water followed close behind. She had no idea what method Lin Ming had used to investigate the situation, but in addition to the terrifying striking power he displayed just now, she was utterly convinced by him. The other disciples all rushed forwards. At that time, even if an archaic great beast were lying in front of them, they would still attack without hesitation. You bastards. What's going on here? The two captains of the occult bone clan in Splinter Soul Mountain had the lightest wounds. Even if they had allowed attacked, they were still able to rely on their solid foundation and multiple life-saving methods to block the attack. The attack just now barely affected their combat strength at all, but their subordinates were off much worse. A third had immediately died. Of the nearly 40 people they brought here, only just over 20 were left remaining, and all of them were wounded. The two captains simmered with a seething rage. As they saw a youth rush toward their front, their hatred and anger burst open like a roiling volcano. Only at the eighth stage of life destruction. You were looking to die. Eighth stage life destruction. It's that damn Lin Ming. The two captains instantly recalled Lin Ming's name. Lin Ming was also their top priority for coming here. So you are Lin Ming. You came at just the right time. I'll carve you up first to boost morale. The occult bone clan's late divine sea captain gave a loud shout. Layers upon layers of bone armor burst out from his body, covering his entire self. He grasped a giant bone sword and cut towards Lin Ming. At the same time, the captain of Splinter Soul Mountain also attacked. The weapon in his hand was very unique. It was a ghost banner. As this ghost banner shot forwards, cold winds appeared in the air and the pain screams of ghosts echoed outwards. These ghosts melded together, forming into a giant demon claw that grasped towards Lin Ming. Lin Ming had to face the simultaneous attacks of two late Divine Sea powerhouses. Junior Apprentice Brother, be careful. Although Yi Rose Water admired Lin Ming to the extreme, she also worried that Lin Ming would be severely wounded by these attacks. As the attacks of the occult bone clan in Splinter Soul Mountain's two captains fell down, behind Lin Ming, a blood red lotus began to bloom. Prime Emperor Lotus Flower, Grand Mist Space. With the concealing technique Mo Ever Snow taught him, Lin Ming could fully utilize the Grand Mist Space. He no longer needed to worry about it. As the Grand Mist Space activated, it was like a desolate ancient beast that devoured all. It met the attacks of the two captains. The occult bone clan captain's bone sword energy was continuously weakened by the Grand Mist Space. Although the occult bone claw's laws of life were mysterious, in the formation of the universe, life only appeared at the latter stages. How could the laws of life possibly resist the annihilating strength of the Grand Mist laws? As for the countless ghost phantoms that were sent out by Splinter Soul Mountain, they were all reduced to ashes underneath the power of the Grand Mist Space. By the time the two masters' attacks reached Lin Ming, they were already weakened by over half. Lin Ming grasped the Phoenix Blood Spear and swept outwards. Penetrating Rainbow. Bang. The power of thunder and fire furiously wove together in a deafening explosion, tearing apart the Bone Sword energy and the Demon Claw at the same time. What? How? How could this happen? The two masters never expected their combined attack to be directly defeated by Lin Ming. Without time to think, Lin Ming's Phoenix Blood Spear had already turned towards Splinter Soul Mountain's captain. Lin Ming could see that the Splinter Soul Mountain captain had weaker defenses. Moreover, his attacks were based on the laws of soul. They were completely suppressed by Lin Ming's own abilities. Chasing Thunder As the Splinter Soul Mountain captain saw Lin Ming rushing towards him, a black energy surrounded his entire body as he waved his ghost banner. A black demon appeared from this black energy and plunged towards Lin Ming. While he used a physical attack, he also used a soul attack. However, the power of ghosts were restrained by the power of thunder to begin with. In front of Lin Ming, soul attacks were even more of a joke. Lin Ming's phoenix blood spear thrust downwards without change. A fierce explosion sounded out and waves of violent energy billowed outwards. The Splinter Soul Mountain Captain was directly smashed backwards by Lin Ming's spear. His protective true essence crazily trembled and his bamboo hat flew away, revealing an incomparably pale face. Flows of red blood flowed down from the corners of his mouth, trailing into the wind. 